channel three too. Yesterday I was recording from my personal profile the whole time. I didn't even realize it. I had to go back and post the link. That's okay. All right. Okay, you guys ready? All right, so welcome back to all of you that are joining us virtually. Thank you for tuning in. You guys here hanging out with me? Thank you, appreciate it. And uh, I think maybe I've used this quote before, but I like it. So what the heck, we're gonna repeat it, if it is a repeat. It says, there are really only two requirements when it comes to exercise. One is that you do it. The other is that you continue to do it. Right? Pretty straightforward. There are really only two requirements when it comes to exercise. One is that you do it. The other is that you continue to do it. And it's kind of matter of fact, right? Yep. It doesn't it have to. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Well, that too. If you don't do it and you don't continue it, well, you're not getting anything yeah. done. <laughs> And the other thing is it doesn't have to look a certain way or it doesn't have to hit a time limit, right? The way people work out is going to be different. It's going to be different day to day. Yeah. So really yeah. just, yeah. just do yeah. it. Yeah. Show up and do something and keep doing it. So yeah, kind of matter of fact, I like this one. No, uh, no ifs, ands, or buts about this one. You just do it and then keep doing it. So, and that's what we do here. We keep doing it, right? Keep Every day. On, keep on, keep yeah. on keeping on, exactly, Joy. <laughs> yeah, and again, it, it, it looks varied maybe day to day, right? You don't have to do the same thing every day. It doesn't have to be necessarily as intense every day. Um, but you do something. Move your body a little bit. Maybe it's an actual exercise routine. Maybe it's my sweet dance moves that I got going on. You know, that's that's movement and exercise. <laughs> you knew I had to sneak that in. <laughs> really just an excuse for my dance moves. But we will keep doing what we do here, which is move, right? right. So for all of you joining at home, continue to do what you do. Thanks for joining us. And we'll focus on a couple things, right? Our top priorities, safety, stability, and staying away from pain. So whatever the motion is that you're doing, let it feel good, let it stimulate your body, let it stimulate your mind, right? Everything I'm gonna offer here is a suggestion, um, but feel free to modify. Modify as you need. If there's any kind of pain or anything that doesn't feel right in your body, um, just make a change. The only thing that we ask is if you don't have to, don't stop. Keep moving, right? Modify, modify before quitting, right? So rule number one, just do it. Rule number two, continue to do it. Whatever it is for you. So that's where we're at today. Uh, do you have enough water? You're good to go? Okay. Miss Tina, you got something to drink or do you need another water? You're good? Okay, cool. And Lou, you're set even though, yeah, cool. You take your time, but as long as you're set with everything else. Yeah. yeah, of course, sir. No worries. All right, guys. So we are still on Tina's playlist. So we'll have some more Bon Jovi this week. We have Bon Jovi. I think there was a lot of U2 yesterday. Boston came on. So a whole, a whole smorgasbord for you, Tina. But it's starting off with Bon Jovi. So, uh, yeah, let's everyone get to our starting positions. We'll get going. We'll have some fun. And we'll do our exercise for today, right? Yep. All right, guys, go ahead. Go ahead, get to your starting position. We'll have our feet flat on the floor. Feel those hips heavy, rooting down into the chair beneath you. Sit up nice and tall, lengthen the spine. And we'll relax our shoulders down. And just like we always do with all motion, we'll start with a couple of deep breaths. So allow these to be nice and cleansing. Inhale through the nose, pull the breath in. Exhale, open mouth, let it go. Good, deep breath in. And a big breath out. Nice, last one, cleansing breath in. And a calming breath out. Ah, lovely. I'll go ahead, get my water. I wanna make sure we stay hydrated here. And we shall see what 
Bon Jovi song we start with today. Breath flowing. 
Nice job, you guys. Now you might feel a stretch in the back of your body. That's okay. Right? It's just going to be a reciprocal action of what's happening over here on the front. As long as there's no pain, just keep going. Feeling those abs engage. On the front of your core, activate.
right? You don't want any pain. There shouldn't be any forcing. get a little closer to you folks at home. Let's fix this a little. There we go. Okay, so we're going to get into pronation. So that's palm down and then rotating just below the elbow, palm up is supination. 
Right? So palm down, pronation. Palm up, supination. Good. Now again, we have several options here. You can either do your hands separately. You can focus on just one. Or you can bring your hands together. Right? Take the grip of your choice. So you have fingers in between, cupped over, or even using the strength of one hand to support the other. Good. Whatever you're doing, keep the breath moving. Right? All of our body functions, everything from movement to resting, all requires oxygen. <laughs> so, regardless of what you're doing, you should always be breathing. Even if you're dancing, dancing definitely requires some breathing. Maybe singing. Maybe my air guitar that gets really high up on my shoulders if I'm playing with my sister. <laughs> oh, good. Nice job. All right. A couple more just like that. one here and shake it out. Good. Release those muscles. You can always give them a little self massage. Maybe rubbing them into each other, creating a little heat. Whatever feels okay. Okay. Uh, next one here, we're going to work on flexion and extension at the wrist. So flexion is forward. Extension is back. Flexion is forward. Extension is back. Good. Now again, several options. Fingers can come in between. You can cup them over one another, or you can utilize the strength of one hand to simply support the other. Good. So focusing just on the joint here in the wrist. Nice. Whatever feels best here in your body. Nice job. And again, keep in mind, right, the range doesn't matter either, right? So if you're able to go all the way or if you're just here in the middle, no difference. Just working within the available range in your body, right? Good. Keep the breath moving. You winning? Uncle Luno. <laughs> Oh, one of these days we're going to film the Uno game that goes on in there. That might be more entertaining than my dance moves. <laughs> All right, wherever you're at, go ahead, shake it out. Nice job on the wrist work, you guys. Again, feel free to kind of create a little heat, maybe massage those muscles out. <sighs> Good. Okay, next one, uh, opposition of the fingers. So we're taking the thumb pad and trying to get to the pad of every other finger, right? Yep, and one at a time. So if you can reach those fingertip to fingertip, then I want you to push into it so those muscles activate and engage. And then you're opening up as wide as you can. Good. Nice, Dwayne. So once you get uh, tip to tip doing like if you're able to get the thumb to your pointer then try and push into it activating the muscles in those fingers and in the thumb there you go good easier said than done of course and this is just one option so you can also um, take your finger pads and get to the base of each finger if that's a little easier to start, or at however high up on the fingers you're able to take those thumbs. Uh, the other thing you can do, if available, you can use your other hand to pull those fingers together, if that's an option. Right? Maybe they just need a little guidance so they can touch. And then again, other options is taking the base of your fingers towards one another by using the strength of the other hand. Good. 
And maybe there's an option that we haven't listed, right? If there's something else that you're able to do in your body that feels okay, feel free to do it, right? Yep. yep. Nice. Just trying to activate whatever little muscles in your hands and fingers you're able to. Good. Or just sit and listen to music. <laughs> Have a good one. All right, shake out those fingers, whichever one you were on. Are you out too? We'll see you Friday. You're still coming in Friday too, right? Are you coming in Friday? Okay, we'll see you then. Have a wonderful one. All right, bye. All right, Tina. Girls Club, let's rock this out. <laughs> All right, we got one last one for the hands here. We're gonna pull those fingers in nice and tight. Oh man, I love this song. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of my high school girlfriends. Me and all my friends used to sing this. All right, squeeze those hands in and then open wide. Pull everything in, open wide, good. So again, several options here, right? You can either clasp your hands over each other, squeezing in, and then straightening out. Maybe using that other hand to pull the fingers apart. You can use the strength of one hand to help bring that in. And then open them up. Good. Nice. You can do one at a time. You can do both at the same time. Really just doing whatever, again, feels best for you today. <sighs> Good. I feel like it's just such a soulful song. Like he's just like, <laughs> so much emotion. <laughs> Good. Nice, Tina. I really just want to start singing to this, but I'm not I'm not gonna to torture everyone out there. <laughs> they just come in with so much passion. <laughs> oh, good. All right, let's do one more just like that. So pull those hands in, nice tight fist, and then open them up as wide as they go. <sighs> nice. Feel free to create a little heat, shake them out, whatever feels best. I think last week we were shaking the whole body, loosening everything up. All right, guys, we're going to get back to the starting position. We'll take a breath to reset, a sip of water, and then we'll start with legs and core. Yeah, 
head stays still, with the eyes move in circles. Now, if possible, try to make big circles with the thumb and get those eyes all the way to the corners of the available range. If that's a little too tough, you can always come in and make smaller circles. Just start there. Right? And if at any point you need a break, feel free. These aren't the easiest exercises. They might seem small, they're definitely smaller muscles, but they're equally, if not more, challenging than some of the other exercises. Good. One more big circle here. And come on back to the center. Close the eyes, relax the hand. Ah. Nice job, you guys. Okay. We're giving our eyes a break here. No different than resting any other muscle. We're going to give them a second to reset. And then the next one, we're going to do the exact same thing, except reverse the rotation. Okay? So, again, when you're ready, thumb comes out, eyes open, and we're going to go the other way. Good. Good. Rotating that thumb all the way around. Trying to get those eyeballs all the way to the corners of the socket. Uh, deep breathe, and this song is also in that mode again. That's hilarious. Now what are they doing? Just having a big continuous soundtrack? Do they know I'm listening to them? Is that what's happening to me? <laughs> Good. Keep the breath moving. Keep the head steady. Last one here, nice and big. And come on back to the center, close the eyes, release that hand. Ah. All right, so good. We're halfway done with the eye exercises. The next two, we're going to keep the thumb and the eyes steady, but move the head around the eyeballs. I'll guide you through it. It looks something like this. When you're ready, put that thumb straight out, open the eyes again. Eyes stay focused on the thumb, but you take your head side to side. Good. Nice job. Keep the breath moving. Getting those eyeballs all the way to the corner. Go right to left and back again. Again, feel free to give your eyes a little bit of a break if they need it. Pick back up again when you're ready. Go ahead and do one more direction. Come on back to center. Close the eyes. Release the hand. Ah. All right. We've made it. We've got one left of the eyes. So when you're ready, thumb comes back out. Eyes open. And this time we can go up and down. Keep that thumb noted, but keep eyes focused on the thumb. Good. So you're essentially moving the head around the eye socket, or around the eyeballs. Nice job. Taking those eyes all the way to the tops of the lids, to the bottom. And of course, keep the breath open. The eyes, eye muscles might be. Case on the phone. <laughs> All 
Okay, how are we doing out there, guys? Hopefully you're all hanging in there. Thanks so much for sticking with us. We are now finishing up, and we will end with our mouth exercises. So, Tina, you're good. You're far enough away. I'm taking my mask off for you guys. Let me take a sip of water here. It's always good to hydrate before you start these, right? Your mouth can get a little dry. Okay. So, to start, we'll get into our jaw muscles, around the mouth, the cheeks, right? Just loosening up the tension here. No different than any other muscle in the body. There can get some tension built up, maybe some tight muscles. So just release the jaw here. Relax any holding. Even a little bit under your eyes, right? Okay, wonderful. Uh, the next one that we're going, or the first one that we're gonna start with, I should say, uh, we are going to open our mouth as wide as it'll go. So we're trying to take the bottom jaw away from the top part of our jaw here. Excuse me, and just stretch open that jaw. And then close. Open wide. And close. Nice. Sorry guys, I have something in my, in my eye. Woo. Okay. Nice, Tina, good. Mm -hmm. So not only are you feeling your muscles stretch, you also should feel the whole joint capsule and maybe even the tissue, the skin around it. Good, you might feel your neck get a little involved here. Mm -hmm. Nice. A couple more just like that. And last one. And relax. Wonderful. All right, so between any of these exercises, again, if you need to get into those jaw muscles, kind of relax them, loosen that tissue, feel free. All right. Uh, next one, we are going to smile really big here. And then relax. Good, so pulling the corners of the mouth up and away. And relax. Good. Show me those pearly whites. And relax. Nice, lovely. Like I always say, school picture day. <laughs> Good, show off those teeth. Really feel those muscles pull back here. And relax. Good. Couple more. Last one here. And release. Ha. Wonderful. And I'm sorry, guys. I know something is fluttering around in my eyeball. Probably not left. All right. We'll see. My brother always teases me. He's like, it's because your eyes are so big. Things just get caught in there. <laughs> He's like, they're like a trap. <laughs> okay. Uh, the next one we're going to do, we're going to keep smiling, but we're going to alternate back and forth. So big smile and then pucker. Good. Smile and pucker. Smile and pucker. Nice. So you're pulling all those muscles back and then pushing them all forward. So it's opposing motions here. Good. Nice job, you guys. Last one here, smile big. And pucker. And relax. Ha. Nice. Moving right along. Okay. Uh, oh, 
I think this is maybe your second favorite one, <laughs> where we puff the cheeks and hold the lips to, together. So it's another one with kind of opposing actions here. We're gonna puff our cheeks up like a blowfish, keep the lips nice and tight and sealed. And then while our uh, cheeks are filled with air, we're gonna push that air from side to side. So we're essentially shifting the pressure, but trying to keep it all in our mouth here by keeping those lips sealed. So it looks like this. Nice. So again, what's going to happen or what is going to want to happen is that the air slips out of your lips. But you want to keep them sealed, keep them nice and tight, and keep shifting the pressure. And relax. Uh. <laughs> That one is pretty tough because, again, it's opposing forces here, right? So your mouth is expanding while your lips are tightening. All right, next one, lip smacks. Isn't there a chapstick that used to be called, like, lip smackers? It was, like, a whole brand of, like, flavored chapstick, which I'm pretty sure, at least for me, it never actually helped my lips get better. <laughs> it just tasted good. <laughs> All right, so uh, I always lick my lips here for this one. And then you want to kind of seal them together, right? Pulling them together just enough. Again, opposing forces so that you can pull them open and there's a little bit of a smack. Mm -hmm. Good. And it might sound a little different, right? If you're able to get your lips kind of under your teeth, you'll hear more of that pop. But if you're just peeling the lips away from each other, kind of from the inside, it's gonna be more of that smack. And both are right. They're all gonna sound a little different. I was thinking, Tina, maybe that's it. When your lips come together, are you able to kind of like suck in because it pulls the lips in and then you use your jaw to pull them away from each other. Not exactly, but it, you still have the smack, right? It's just not a pop. But again, it's all a little different. You're still able to go. There you go. That sounded a little louder. All right, a couple more just like this. And last one here. And release. <laughs> and good riddance. <laughs> All right, the next two are going to focus specifically on the tongue. So this first one here will open our mouth and we're going to take our tongue from side to side. So alternating right to left, right to left, open the mouth. Mm -hmm. And just essentially taking the tongue from one corner of the mouth to the other. Here's my song again that I was singing. All right, we're gonna spare everyone. We'll go on to another Bon Jovi song. Good. So again, the goal is to be controlled, right? If you speed it up, that's fine. But if you speed it up and it starts to go in different directions, slow it down and really just try to hit one corner of the mouth to the next. Mm -hmm. Ah, all right, nice. <laughs> Feel free to wipe off the side of your mouth for the next one. 
we will go up and down. So taking the tongue towards the nose and then down towards the chin. Uh -huh. Nice job. Oh, all right. I'm going to take a sip before the next one because I don't like the next one. <laughs> but it's necessary as all of these exercises are. So this next one, we're going to bite our tongue gently in between the teeth. And then while holding the tongue in the teeth, we'll try to swallow. So it'll look something like this. Right? And you can see my tongue stays in my teeth while I'm swallowing. I don't pull it back out to swallow. It stays clamped the whole time. Training champ. <laughs> oh, goodness. I told everyone who's watching, all my million followers, that one day we're going to live stream the, uh, the Uno matches. So that might be more exciting than me dancing and doing tongue exercises over here. <laughs> Two games in that whole hour and a half. Some marathon Uno games going on over here. All right, last one of these, Tina. Nice. Also, do you see how I snuck out of those last few exercises by chatting with Bill? <laughs> All right, the last one we have, we're going to frown and then swallow. Frown and swallow. Good. Again, you can use your hand here if you need to uh, assist with that motion, either both sides or just one. And follow. Good. Nice. Couple more. All right, Tina. Last one. Big frown because you're sad it's all over. She did frown. She smiled. <laughs> frown. And swallow. <sighs> nice job, woman. All right, we're going to finish like we always do. A couple deep breaths here. Inhale through the nose. Open mouth, exhale. Good. Deep cleansing breath in. Big clearing breath out. Nice. Last one. Inhale. And exhale. And she's yawning. I've officially put her to sleep. <laughs> All right, you guys, thank you as always for sticking with us. We appreciate you connecting. Tina, way to hang in there. Girls Club over here, nicely done. Uh, for all of you guys, we will be back tomorrow, 10 o'clock, morning mindfulness, and then once again, 1.30, rehabilitative strengthening. We hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. We hope to see you again, and take care. Thanks.